Hello, and welcome to this overview of Connect 200, Sage 200 to Sage CRM integration. I'm going to spend the next few minutes showing you a few of the features of Sage CRM and how it integrates into Sage 200 via Connect 200 to give a complete view of your customer from prospect to invoice. Sage CRM runs in a web browser and is supported on all major browsers, including Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, and Chrome. It is accessed by entering in your username and password on the logon screen. Once into Sage CRM, you are immediately presented with a dashboard showing you a quick overview of your business. Dashboards can be modified to show you information specifically related to you and you can have multiple dashboards to access. Also from within this section, you can access your calendar, leads, opportunities, or even support cases assigned to you. You can also see the same information but grouped together by team. For example, the sales team's total opportunities. From this screen, you can also search for or jump straight to recent or favorite records. When you make a selection, you are shown a summary of the record and have the option to view additional information such as notes and communications or any documents stored against it. Also, based on the record type, access to further information is available. In this example, I'm looking at a company record and have access to additional information related to the company, such as people, addresses, or any quotes and orders. I can add new records against the record I'm in by clicking on the green New icon and selecting the type I want to add. In this example, I will add a new person called John Kingsbury. Quotes and orders can also be raised from within CRM by selecting Add, New Quote or Order. Once the quote header details have been entered, you can add whatever items you require. These can either be products from Sage 200, free text items or line items. When products are selected from Sage 200, the available quantities are displayed below the product description. Once you have created the quote with the required items, you can either create a Word or PDF document of the quote and send these straight out to the customer, all from within the CRM system. If a quote becomes an order, you can simply convert the quote to an order in CRM. Select the Sage 200 company you wish to post the order to, and then select the Post to Accounts option. This will display some overview details of the Sage 200 customer, and if all looks good, you can post the order immediately into Sage 200. Additionally, the integration into Sage 200 allows customers to be created from Sage CRM. Products or price changes in Sage 200 are updated into Sage CRM, and when they have the appropriate rights, users can view various live Sage 200 information, such as orders, returns, or memos. Sage 200 forms can also be launched from within the relevant Sage CRM screens by clicking the appropriate button. In this example, I'm launching a Sage 200 order entry form from within the CRM customer record. I can add items to the order as if I'm in Sage 200, and once I've selected the required items and options, I can save the record into Sage 200, the form will disappear and allow me to continue using Sage CRM. Any orders that are either manually entered into Sage 200 or imported via an import routine are synchronized into Sage CRM. This allows the order information to be available from within the standard Sage CRM reporting and dashboard functionality. I hope that you have enjoyed this brief overview. There is a lot more that Sage CRM and Connect 200 can do that has not been covered in this demonstration. If you would like to see further information about the product or would like to discuss how Sage CRM can work for you as a business, please contact us from our website www.cumulus-solutions.com or email us via info at cumulus-solutions.com.